gentlemen, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than I normally do on the channel. We're going to be fishing a jetty on my kayak there, trolling with a big spoon and a big Rapala Magnum that dives anywhere from 10 to 15 feet. The targeted species is going to be bull reds and Jack Creval and possibly Spanish mackerel if they're out there. I'm super excited because normally, like I said, I don't do this type of fishing and I really don't know what to expect. So I'm glad you guys can join me. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have some good day and we'll be able to slay him today. So you guys stay tuned. All right, we got the uh, we got the the radio, the marine radio, just in case we get in a little trouble. Should be good to go. And water level, water clarity here at the boat launch at the Coast Guard station is pretty murky. Hopefully, it'll clear up. We need that blue green water. That's what we need, folks. This, what's the silver lining of using a manual pedal kayak? As you get to eat water burger afterwards because you burned a lot of calories. That's the silver lining, folks. <laughs> or you can just, <laughs> like Mark said, just ride a motorized kayak and eat water burger anyways. <laughs> we just launched and we're noticing these swells coming in. I mean, they're not big, big swells, but it is a little bit concerning considering there's really no wind and there's no boat that passes passing us by right now and these swells are coming right at us. I think it might be because of the tidal movement. I'm not sure, but we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. All right, ladies and gents, we made it to the end of the jetty here. And the swells are actually much higher than what it said in my app. Uh, we were looking at two feet swells, but this is more two and a half plus a three feet. And the wind started to pick up. So a little bit concerning, but we're going to still try anyways. We're going to troll for a little bit. If it doesn't work out, well, we got to find out a plan B. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and start trolling while we're here. I'm not getting any, I'm getting a lot of fish marks being that they're bait. Anywhere from, looks like 15 to 20 feet. So this should do well. So we're just gonna start releasing the line about 30, 40 feet. So give us enough distance for it to dive down. All right, so we're gonna be trolling about two miles an hour. I'm gonna make sure our bait dives down to about hopefully 10 to 15 feet. That's what, that looks like that's where all the bait's concentrated. There's a lot of bait concentrating down close to the bottom of the uh, the ocean here. But target, like I said, 10 to 15 feet. Hey, dolphin! I don't got anything for you. I'm sorry. All right guys, I made it back to the launch. Honestly thought I was gonna die, man. At a moment, all those swells like pushing my back end up. I felt my front end going down. I was like, let me get out here as soon as possible. It was a bad idea, okay? What can I say, man? It was a bad idea to come out to the jetty even though the forecast looked promising on the app. Just didn't work out, so we're gonna head out to another marsh. Try to salvage today, try to catch a fish for a catch and cook. Hopefully that's the plan. And um, yeah. Just learn from my lessons, guys. Jetty fishing can be dangerous. Justin, my man, you ready? You ready to try this again? <laughs> man, you're crazy, man. Things you do to fish. 
this is a place you don't want to get out of your kayak to pee <laughs> you don't get stuck in the water or stuck in the mud i mean it's super shallow right now when you see birds <laughs> walk in the water that, that means it's pretty shallow <laughs> i mean so pretty much there's no nothing special that i'm doing i'm just blind casting this uh two feet channel kind of randomly to my right to the middle to the grass line i'm using the bugs curl tail the black and gold color i think that's going to be the best color with this very dirty water oh there i just got thumped there crazy I just got thumped. Oh, and Justin's on. Nice. Good job, Justin. Oh my gosh. It feels like he's all oyster now. Oh my god. It is all oyster. Be careful. It's all oyster. Yeah, it is. Okay, now this is about three feet right here. One, one tip that I could give you guys. If you ever come fish in an area and you don't know the depth, but you see crab traps, just follow along with the crab traps. Because usually crab trappers, or you know, guys that hunt for crabs, hunt, or, or you know, trap crabs, God, I can't even talk. Uh, they usually drop their traps so their boats can go through. So you're looking about, I don't know, at least minimum two feet. And that's probably good enough for your kayak to go through. Just FYI for next time. Okay, guys, update, update, update. Well, this is a new spot. Uh, I got hung up about 20, 30 times in the oyster. It's uh, the contour is all crazy. It gets really shallow oyster, and then it gets uh, five feet with mud. I don't get it. So I'm gonna try my best. I haven't caught anything. I've been using the curl tail. Now I'm gonna switch off to the hothead because I do see some grass shrimp here and there along this grass line. But um, I'm gonna keep on. I went down this diversion channel. I don't know what this is. Um, but it led to nowhere, so I'm gonna go back out and go to my original spot. So let's see if we can catch a fish for you guys. There we go. That's a fish. Oh, that's a red. That's a slot. That's a slot. Got him on that slab of licious. <laughs> Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go. Oh, wow. I am so lucky, folks. I am so lucky. I hurry up and get him in. Where the heck is my... Oh my god, I forget my net. Dude. Are you joking me, Nick? Forget your freaking neck, you idiot. Oh my god. If I lose this fish, guys, this is totally my fault. Oh my god. Beautiful red fish with a blue tail. I just gotta tire him out. Oh, come on, buddy. Give him some drag. <laughs> oh man there is fish back here they're just laying in the mud you just gotta get lucky and throw right at them look at that beautiful redfish it's been a freaking grinder at starting out the jetty then here finally got my redfish and he's bleeding pretty bad we're gonna we're gonna keep him and harvest him because uh yeah i don't know what happened but man i'm so ecstatic on that slab delicious once again these micro lures they come in clutch if you guys don't know about them, make sure you hit the link, the Amazon affiliate link in the description box if you want to buy some and catch monster fish like this in the marsh in a new area. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just got back home from fishing and obviously as you see my little mini crappy box opening, I got a new reel. So let me show you exactly what we got new for the channel. All right, check it out guys. This is the new Tranx 301 HD, which is the left-handed bait casting reel. This is a big, big reel. Um, actually, it's not, it's not new. It, it's been out in the market for, I don't know, two, three, four years perhaps maybe. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but the reason why I got a big old reel this size is because I want to implement some more big fishing on my new Autopilot 120, which I should be getting the battery hopefully within a month, maybe two months, according to Mariner's Cell. So I'm pretty excited 
really, really looking forward to um, throwing some big lures, trolling, uh, big spoons, heavier baits, all that type of stuff, so I can implement a different, diverse type of type of videos on the uh, channel. I know you, I do a lot of marsh fishing and skinny water, but I feel like it's time that I do a little bit more deeper water, like off the jetties, or even maybe bank fishing off the jetties with a big bait casting reel like this one right here. So let me open and show you exactly what we're dealing with here. That's a massive reel, man. I am not used to something of this size. Ooh, check it out. It even comes with a power handle. Look at that, guys. Tell me that is not sexy right there. Look at that. Now that is a massive reel. I plan to put 30 pounds of braid on this. It'll probably hold up to 300, 300 yards easily. And I'm gonna pair this to a heavy rod by old 18 probably their hollow point line or if their suppressor line um, when they do get in stock i'll maybe put it on that or maybe when they come out with their jetty rod in the future i'll for sure put it on that but this thing is massive look at this folks isn't that really a nice looking reel here with that power handle look at that just to give you that leverage and that that pulling force and power i will do a review on this in the future but first i need to try to catch some fish on it so i can give a proper review but I've read a lot of reviews, looked at a lot of videos online, and the Tranx 301 HG, this model right here, is a freaking monster, it's a freaking beast. And they'll be able to handle the big fish, the jacks, maybe the kings, and Spanish macro, of course. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun trying to implement or do some type of different fishing on the channel. I hope you guys stay tuned. Make sure you leave a like, comment below, as always. I love every single one of you guys, and stay tuned. In the future, we'll have a review on this big old nifty little reel right here. Well, it's not too little. <laughs> Alright guys, I love every single one of you. Catch you guys on the next one.